So why are fools important? Well, there's about 507 million population in, in Europe today, in EU 28, of whom 95 million, it actually is better, are over the age of 65. And they are people who are at risk of falls in the future. Falls happen to about one in three people over the age of 65 each year. So if you think about this 95 million older people, that means there's going to be more than 30 million falls per annum each year uh, in Europe. Falls represent a major problem. When a subject falls after 65 years, he has a high risk of hospitalization and a high risk to lose control and to go outside from home. So this is essential that there is a false prevention initiative and that this is coordinated at the EU level. About half of the falls that happen result in an injury. 30 to 50 percent depends upon the age, it depends upon the population. About five or six percent of that 30 million falls are going to result in injuries, important injuries, mostly fractures of the arm and of the leg, hip fracture and head injuries. About 1% of falls, of this 30 million falls that are happening in Europe each year are going to result in a hip fracture. One in five people who has a hip fracture is likely to die within a year, well within six months actually. Technologies play a key role in the field of fall prevention and management. In fact, uh, there is a lot of work done and many uh, technological solutions already. Uh, for instance, at levels of supporting active and healthy aging and the self-management in order to avoid the risk of falling. Also, technologies for the fall risk uh, detection and also prediction. Technologies range from wearable devices, applications, exergames, games, algorithms, uh, equipments, etc. And they have strong advantages in order to detect early some risks, also to collect data which is going to enrich research on uh, the kinds of parameters that can predict a risk of fall. We can make an, a lot of analysis of this data, but not only at short term, also at long term and not only at clinical setting, also at uh, real life setting, at home, in the street and so on. We can prevent falls. Strength and balance exercises, for example, can reduce the risk of falling by 20% approximately. So that's good news that if you're doing exercise, you can prevent falls. An important risk factor is taking many medicines, polypharmacy as it's called. That's a high risk factor for falls. And so that would mean if you were taking many medicines, Perhaps the pharmacist or the doctor would review the medicines and say we can change your medication regime to reduce your risk of falling. A very important point is that these technologies also allow self-management from the user, from the elderly, who can be more motivated and uh, willing to make the exercises and the rehabilitation and so on in an unobtrusive and also dignified manner so that his or her quality of life and autonomy is boosted. It's nice to finalize this with a view on the future. So suppose we are 20 years from now on. What we see is that uh, everyone is uh, wearing um, monitoring systems because we have these uh, great social psychology strategies that make people responsible for their own health. So they demand uh, being monitored because they are sick of being uh, at home with uh, low back pain, with headaches. They are measuring your behavior uh, and your uh, physical condition, your cognitive condition, your mental condition, uh, the food you take, um, the hours that you are sitting or working or standing or walking or running. It's all monitored and that's very essential because you have to monitor all these activities. You have to have a complete picture of a person. If you only measure his, its physical uh, performance, then you miss a lot. Only when you have a, the complete picture, you can make a decision if such a person is at risk 
of um, losing independence or is at risk or uh, of a fall in the future. Active and healthy aging is badly needed. Otherwise, we are going to collapse. So we need to have a proposal like EIP in order to strengthen what we are doing for the old age people.